Hi there, everybody. We're making something yummy here in Cook's Corner today. We're joined by Una Williams from Royal Temptations, who is going to tempt us royally here today. What are we making? Irish soda bread. Irish as, soda bread. as I just asked you with your last name, I have. Um, I, I have Yes, the English accent, but both my parents were born and raised in Southern Ireland. I have more family there than anywhere. And to top it off, my uncle retired as Irish ambassador. So, you know, you have really? real Irish cred here. Wow, okay. And <laughs> Irish soda bread was our ordinary bread growing up as a child. You know, oh, we'd no get kidding. the buttermilk okay. from the dairy. And yes, this is gluten-free. So, of course, I've tweaked it because it's got to taste real to me. Okay. And the, most, the reason most people don't like Irish soda bread in the stores is they put too much baking soda in, which is the soda bread side of it, got it. which makes it taste metallic in your mouth. Yep. And that's what happens with commercial, so it's awful. So this, this is my gluten-free um, blend, which also has good nutrition in it with millet and sorghum. But then I added, I added teff as well and millet, more of it, because it gives it a better nutrition, better flavor. And you can see it's not plain white like ordinary um, clear flour. A brownish tint to yeah. it there, yeah. And normally you do it with buttermilk straight from the, the dairy, mm -hmm. but not everyone has it. So I have just ordinary fat-free milk. You can put in a dollop of sour cream or yogurt all together give it that tang flavor. What's a, what's a dollop? Dollop. It's an English, <laughs> very ah, okay, official sorry. technical official. term, dollop. English. Okay. And so I've rubbed some the butter into it and a bit of sugar in it and some baking powder, all the way my mother used to do it. Every recipe is different, but mm -hmm. no way caraway seeds, people. I'm sorry, no way. <laughs> and then I put... Sorry, caraway seed yeah, lovers no, out there. Okay. <laughs> not in Ireland. It was a okay. poor country. They wouldn't have had the wouldn't money. Have had them. Okay. So this is the baking soda I'm putting in, and I'm whisking it into the liquid to totally disperse it and melt it, otherwise it'll stay as lumps ah, okay. in your so dough. Okay, so disperse that first. So, and I'm pouring it on top and it's going to look as if it's totally flooded, as okay. you can see. Oh no, but you put you, too much in. Yes, that's what I keep thinking oh. and I keep oh, panicking. Oh, look at that though. But look it's at how it, it, better go, <laughs> it better go thick, hadn't it? <laughs> so I'll keep stirring it. Um, with gluten-free, <laughs> it's a little bit wetter than with wheat flour. And I'm putting it in, as the guys were asking, yes, it's going into that skillet to go in the oven. My aunt in Ireland used to make it in a biscuit tin lid uh, from so the, the big biscuit tin. This is tins. like mixing concrete yes. over here. Very, no, okay. it's not. I must admit, it does look like concrete. <laughs> so um, I'm actually going to be the featured chef at the Boston Flower Show this week oh, on, nice. on St. Patrick's Day. So I will be doing something Irish. I haven't decided yet. It's yeah. going to be a surprise. Always fun event. Though, Always though, fun yeah. event. So you can see me there. And next month, I'm actually um, DHHS, their conference up in the White Mountains for family support. I'm doing a workshop there for them. Because I don't just do gluten-free. I talk about food allergies and what's in the food labeling. People would be scared if they knew what was actually in the food. There's a lot of stuff on you know, labels, But you yeah. can see it's getting lovely and thick. Once yep. it sits for a minute or so, I'll grease and flour this, pour it in. And it's about 40 minutes in a 350 oven it comes out and you want a nice knocking sound underneath sure. to show it's cooked it's got um, sign of the cross on it but you can find it find it gluten-free cooking with una on facebook or my website and the recipe is always there plus the clip when this airs now a great little march tradition right there yes. or have a year round if you want yes. to make yourself una thank you very much that does it for us thank you